All right, we're going to try some 2D animation here. I'm going to show a couple of different ways in a hopefully fairly quick little video. I'll select 2D animation here from the screen. We could also go up here and go File, New, 2D Animation, but we're good to go. And you can just start drawing right away. Uh, all right, I'm going to undo that though, because let's say we want to draw over top of an image. We want a background image to use as kind of a guide. So what we need to do is we need to get out of draw mode. We'll go to object mode. Uh, nothing should be selected, but we'll hit A twice just to make sure. And we're going to go add uh, image background. Now I've got to go and find one. I think I got one set here. There we go. We got Donald Duck in the background. And what we'll do, I'm going to scroll out, middle mouse wheel. Uh, I'm going to go to N and And once I'm inside of N, what I can do is actually just drag the X position here, uh, the Y to scale. I'll bring it down a little bit. That's good. And my Z position as well, the vertical position. Uh, once you got that set where you want it, I'll hit N again. That gets rid of that, uh, that uh, menu. And now we can start drawing. Although when I look at that image, it's a little bit too bright for a background image. So what we can do is adjust the transparency. And you notice nothing happens until we click on Use Alpha. So we'll just drop the alpha down that a little bit so that we can actually see the drawing uh, over top. Okay, so how do we draw? If we go back up here to object mode, notice that we can no longer see uh, a setting for grease pencil uh, or for draw. <coughs> so what we need to do is click back over here on stroke, okay, on the right-hand side. And when we do that, that should enable that layer and that's the layer we're going to be drawing on top of and so we can select draw now and here we go and i'm just going to draw right over top of here this is going to be my my donald duck just give me a second here it shouldn't take too long uh i don't know how close the likeness is going to be uh i haven't been doing a lot of drawing lately and almost done uh Okay, I think that's pretty good. That's excellent, actually. It looks just like him. Okay, so I'm finished uh, my drawing, and maybe what I want to do is hide that background so I can click up here, get rid of it, and then we can just see my, my masterpiece. So the first animation now, what we're going to do to make this thing animate is go here to the modifier properties, and we're going to add a modifier, a grease pencil modifier, and it's going to be build. Now the default, it looks like it disappeared, didn't it? Okay, well, hang in there. The default length is 100, so we'll go to frame 100 and it magically reappears. In fact, what I'll do is I'll set <clears throat> the length of this, the end frame to 100. And all I do now is go back to the beginning, hit the space bar, and what that does is build our little animation. And we've already got our first method of animating. There we go, there's step one, which is a build. Okay, let's go Control N. We're gonna make a new 2D animation. Uh, we're not gonna bother saving that. And we're here ready to roll again. So let's draw once again. And let's say that we want to animate uh, this character. So maybe we want the smile to move. Uh, maybe we want different things to happen. Let's go to frame 10 or 20 up here. And I'm gonna to switch to object mode. And um, actually, I'll go back to frame one, first of all. And I'm gonna insert a key for location, rotation, and scale. And then I'll go to frame 20. I'll grab the whole thing. Uh, I'll rotate a little bit. And I'll scale a little bit. And I'll insert a key for location, rotation, and scale. Now, if I play that back, we've already got an animation uh, and the tweening, uh, the in-between frames have been created for us automatically. This is brilliant. There is a little bit of a problem here though. Well, it's not really a problem, but what if we want to actually say animate the mouth? Whenever I try to grab an individual vertice, I'm not able to do that. And that is because of a setting up here, a little fine little setting. We can either select, uh, there's three different modes, and we're in the middle one, which is selecting all stroke points. We just want single stroke points. So what I'm gonna do is go down here and uh, first of all, enable that setting. And now you notice I can grab a single one at a time. Again, if I go back to this setting, it's all or none. So I can grab just the mouth and move it, but that doesn't really help me. Uh, <clears throat> by the way, I should be on frame 20. I'm not sure what I did there, but uh, that's okay. Uh, 
So what I'm going to do is, again, go back to single point. I'm going to grab this point here and I'm going to pull it. But look what happens. It's messy. Moving one of these vertices at a time is going to take forever. Well, a really interesting, a really awesome tool we can use is proportional fall off. If I click this button and now grab it, watch what happens. Okay, that's a little bit big. I'll use the scroll wheel. And as I scroll, what that does is change the, uh, the, the influence, the area of influence as I move this. So if I drag it way out to here and increase the circle by scrolling, look what it does. It has a much, much larger impact. And as I go, as I make that smaller, the impact becomes smaller as well too. So I'm going to do something like, like that. Okay. And I'll select the vertice over here as well too. I think you get the idea. We're going to make them look kind of sad and again, increase the area of influence. And that's pretty good. And I could grab that again, the end and, and bring it right down to a small point like that. Okay. All right. So we've got everything done, but look what happened. It automatically put a key point in for those changes we made, but it jumps from this from jumps from frame 19 to frame 20. So how can we make that happen? How can we tween this? Well, we simply select one set of points. We go interpolate sequence. Ah, and now if we play this back, look what happened. We go from a smile to a frown. So hopefully this gives you some help with possible ways to animate using 2D Blender. Obviously, it's a very overly simplistic uh, demonstration, but we did cover quite a number of different tools that you might be able to use. I'll just hit the play button on that and you can see how it moves in real time. Uh, by the way, another way to look at this would be to go to, um, we're in the dope sheet now, but to go to the timeline and the timeline should also give us a display. Oh, and actually while we're here, what I think I'll do is select these points and use Shift D. Shift D is duplicate and we'll set our end frame to 40 now and let's just see what happens. So down and then moves back up again. Oh, but we have a little problem with the mouth. Look what happened there. It didn't do the tweening for us. So we'll have to go back to the dope sheet. <laughs> if I can figure out how to do this, there we go. That's better. And from 40, we're going to have to uh, go up here and interpolate sequence once again. And it didn't like that because we don't have a point here. If we want it to, to, to smoothly transition back, what we would have to do on frame on the last frame here is actually move the mouth back to its previous position. And to do that, we hit the tab key, we'd select a single vertice, make sure you got the right select mode uh, ready to go. We hit grab, increase the area of influence. Again, we don't have to do this in two stages. Grab it again, shrink down the area of influence. There we go, that's better. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. Increase it first. And then we'll grab it a second time with a smaller area of influence, proportional fall off. And now with this point selected, we can go interpolate sequence and I'm hoping that we're going to get something a little smoother. The only jump now is in between uh, frame zero and 40 when it uh, restarts again. All right, that's all I got. Hopefully that gets you going with some animations. Over and out.